Sudoku may be a brand that you guys have not heard of before, but they have some big things cooking. Let's go check them out. These are the Anaglo 360 liquid CPU coolers. These are their mid-tier coolers. You see we've got nice subtle RGB lighting around the outside here. And they have these little caps that you can actually replace with these and they come with their own stickers as well. Users can customize it to their liking. That's what they're really trying to offer users, that, that build experience, make the computer your own. Comes with a little screen here, uh, shows all the PC stats as well. And you can also further control that via their software. Now in terms of the fans, you actually get three 120 millimeter fans. These are 25 mil thick and they come with these awesome uh, clamp style designs on the outside with integrated RGB lighting. It actually helps to hide the cables running down the sides there. Now the shell can actually be completely removed from the system, rotated any way you like, and then put back on. So the layout of this can be reoriented based on how you like the design of this. And it's also got this little RGB temperature display up there. So you can just keep an eye on your temperatures if you're looking across at your PC case as well. It does come in white and black and they're expecting availability to be around October this year. Uh, you can get two 40 millimeter versions as well. And for a TDP of 310 watts, we're expected to see these come out at around 139 US dollars. The Proteus 420 and 360 are their hero products here at Sudoku. These are their top of the line radiators and they do come with a detachable screen, much like the first ones that we looked at. You can actually rotate them any way you want so you can have the layout this way if that's what you prefer and with the display there's nine different section on there that you can fully customize so you could have cpu temperature here you could have a pump fan speed you can even apply a gif an image or a video on there and only have that take up one two or four squares depending on what you like again we have the stylish cable coverings here there's rgb only on one side because obviously one side is only going to be viewable from the front of the PC case, but it's just nice to see that they're thinking about cable management with the system. The block itself is actually quite hefty and it's made of aluminium as well, so nice premium materials for this block. The center part of the fan is not as thick as normal fans, which means there's actually more airflow path for the air to get through, so they're actually able to achieve more cooling through that. The 360 millimeter version has a TDP of 320 watts. It'll be available for $259. And this one right here, the 420, is going to be released in October. has a TDP of 350 watts and will be available for $289. These are their Astra fans. They're not released yet. They're looking for an October release. However, these have something called an intelligent start-stop tech. So when your PC is operating at low loads, these fans are actually not going to operate at all uh, to reduce noise. However, as the system detects CPU load, these fans will start ramping up depending on the temperature that it reaches. These fans have rubber caps included to hide all the screws and they've gone for a minimalistic design with only this subtle bit of RGB on the side of the frame. These are the Mark 140 and 120 fans and these have to be my favorite piece of hardware that they have on display here. The reason for that is they've taken Fan Texas T30 fans and blown them out of the water. So they claim. Now the reason why this is so impressive is Fantex says they're taking six years to come up with the T30. Whereas Sudoku is a brand that's only been around for about a year and they say that testing against them, they're already outperforming. Now that claim is pretty impressive considering that Fantex took six years to come up with that. So we wanna get them on our hands and do some testing for ourselves. The fan blades themselves extend half a mil away from the fan frame itself. So you're actually getting so much more airflow through that and they're able to push more. These fans have also been perfectly balanced. I actually use a special glue, it's a quick cure glue to actually balance out the weight so it's even distribution when the fan blades are going. So it reduces vibration. The fans are 30 mil in thickness. So we have better airflow, better static pressure. So really good for water cooling setups, which you you guys know we love doing. If you look in the center here, they've actually got all of this on display and kind of remind me of the Iron Man arc reactor. It's a pretty cool, unique feature. They actually have a switch to turn that light off as well, but they're pretty proud of the internals there. So they want to put them on display. And if I'm ever doing an Iron Man theme build, you know what fans I'm going to be using. The side panels of these fans can actually be completely removed on all four sides and they provide the 3D printed file uh, for users to customize their fans to their liking. So we've got a pretty cool video design here or you can actually use a CNC machine, come up with some aluminium side parts so the individual can customize the fan to their liking. What do you think? You reckon Amelia like this? 
more diamonds in the build. Availability is looking at early June on Amazon. Pricing wise, we have a single 120 going for 29 US dollars, and you can also get a three pack for 79 dollars. Now, you can't get a three pack of the 140s at the moment, but a single one will be available for 34 US dollars. These are the SK700V CPU coolers. This is their single fan design. They've also got the dual fan design as well. These are more for those PCs that have those higher RAMs and they're worried about RAM clearance. So. Uh, single fan design. They also have the venting out the side there just like their bigger brother. They also have the display on here. You can fully control that via the software as well. Just monitor all your temperatures. You're going to get 220 watts of TDP cooling out of these. And pricing wise, it's 89 US dollars for the digital display version or without the display, you can get that for 74 US dollars. Now each of their coolers have this unique removable uh, slide design. So you can actually get the fans like this, remove slide it in and then remove it when you need to, if you need to access screws. Now Sudoku is telling me that the SK620V has more performance than the Noctua D15. I'd like to put that to the test because that is a pretty beefy cooler. Again, with this cooler, the fan is attached to the top plate as well. So it just slides in like that. So you have full access to the screws. We still have the digital display on the top there, which can be fully controlled via the software over there. And then we have the outward fan, which you can actually push up if you have higher profile RAM, and that's between 52 and 72 millimeters worth of clearance. Now at the moment, these only have AM5 support, but it does come with this contact frame, which is why they're getting so much more performance out of it. Now the contact frame itself can be adjusted by five millimeters. So if you have any parts of the motherboard that are in the way, that slight adjustment can actually allow you to use this cooler on that motherboard. Pricing wise, the digital display version is 99 US dollars, and you can get the version with no digital display for 79 US dollars.